Revelation 782, from the 20th of February 1939. Unfolding and Outcomes of the Spirit of God. Laws of Nature. Lawgiver. The Spirit from God develops in man to the highest bloom, if all thinking is exclusively turned to the eternal Godhead, because then no barriers are set to the Spirit of God, and it can be fully active that is also make itself noticeable in perpetual spiritual instruction. The only, demand, which is still made to the earthly child, is the constant listening into oneself. The contact must remain established between the giving God, spirit and the receptive earthly child, because one without the other would produce no spiritual results, which can pass into the possession of the human being. The slow growing into such a regulated spiritual activity will bring about a knowledge of things beyond all human knowledge, the explanation of which is beyond a general knowledge. People do not attach much importance to such announcements, which in their opinion bring little real advantage, and so they leave them many hints unused, which however could open up areas for them again and so would also enrich earthly knowledge. So the researchers have directed their attention to bring the whole existence of the living beings in connection with unexplored natural laws to which they attribute the origin of every being. Indisputably the laws of nature also underlie the origin of every living being, but always only in second place, so to speak. Because the eternal Godhead is the lawgiver of all of nature. Everything must certainly adapt itself to the laws of nature, but also these are subject to the divine will, and are therefore not the direct cause of origin of all creations, but these creations have come into being in a God-willed order, and this order is therefore that what becomes understandable to mankind as laws of nature. In the end now, only the existing law is recognized, but not the law given from eternity. Now, if people are to be enlightened in the very errors concerning the creation, this is possible only in one way. Through the spiritual research work, which can be done accurately, only if one makes use of the surest source of all knowledge. If one makes use of the divine power itself in order to be guided into the truth. The results are truly irrefutable they can be used as a basis for further construction work and are of such inestimable value that no earthly, worldly wisdom can be equal to it. What the most laborious scientific work cannot achieve, can be effortlessly fathomed in this way, and what requires years of study, will be most clearly communicated to people in the shortest possible time and can be received without any hesitation as the purest truth. But mankind does not choose this way, but instead seeks to research, to ponder and to prove. And can never come to an indisputable result, because the last fulfillment is reserved for the Lord of heaven and earth. Amen.